So, I've got like a little bit of a confession to make. I've got kind of like a thing for jackets. I don't really know why. I don't know where it started, but I keep getting them. This is like a this is like a fall winter jacket from Animal. It's a BMX company. This jacket's quite old. I love this jacket. This jacket is my leather motorcycle jacket. I bought it in the States for really cheap. This is my fake leather jacket that I bought when I graduated from college. This is a bomber jacket that I wear all the time and was for a little while my only cycling jacket, even though it's not a real cycling jacket. This is my North Face jacket. This is fairly new. Angela bought me this. I like this jacket. I can wear a sweater under it. This jacket I bought on Amazon because I wanted something a little bit looser than my Lastig jacket, a company that Michael Garrigan owns, cyclocross uh, nationals champion, very good racer. More of these are supposed to come out. I'm excited about that. This jacket is just okay. The Lastig one is great. This, actually this was kind of my more real cycling jacket. See how, see how like, see how like beat up and repaired and ripped and all messed up. This is an old fox jacket. I crashed with this on and broke my collarbone. This is just an old insulated sweater that I've kept since high school. This is my denim jacket that I ride my motorbike with. This is a liner jacket from Treadwell. Liam Cormier leads her in a cancer bats company. Great jacket. This is a pink sweater that I really like. My friend Nicole made this. Uh, you can get them at the link below. This is a Cadence cycling jacket. Dustin sent me this when he was still running Cadence. Um, now he's a YouTuber, like me. A lot of jackets, and I'll probably get more. The one thing that's missing is a jacket that is mine. Like that isn't like logoed for someone else or whatever. So I wanna make that today. And what I'm gonna, and what I'm gonna use is actually a jacket from the company that I worked for before becoming a full-time YouTuber. Um, it used to have their logo on it here. I've since done the painstaking uh, removal of the embroidery. I don't recommend doing it. I actually ended up cutting through at a couple spots. Though, that won't be a problem because I'll be covering it with Spindat Patch, a jacket, that is Spandat branded. Oh, and the, the patch that uh, made you click on this video. It'll be a gravel specific jacket. Let's break out the sewing machine. If you're at all interested in anything sort of cycling attire or, you know, cycling clothing in general, I highly suggest you learn how to sew. Actually, I just highly suggest you learn how to sew anyway. You can pretty much fix, mend, make anything last a lot longer than maybe you would expect. Worth noting, like these patches, like this patch is an iron on patch. You can just like heat it up, stick it to whatever garment that you're, uh, that you're putting it on. Same with the, the spin that one that I'm gonna use here. But um, I just kind of don't trust that. It'd almost be like just my crappy like bike stand thing up here. It'd almost be like just carpenter gluing it together without screwing it together too. It might work, it would probably work, but for my own, but for my own peace of mind, hmm, some sort of mechanical, like mechanical thing holding it together. Look how good the Ronster Cross looks down here. Clothes iron. I used this clothes iron to uh, to wax mine and Angela's snowboards last year. So maybe I'll just give it a protective layer as well. A little bit, you're not ironing, you're burning. Apply heat for about 30 to 45 seconds. So I am kind of timing it, making sure the edges are I definitely, I, I wouldn't have done all this. It looks okay laying here right now, but it, it truly didn't work that great. Like the glue.
What do you think? I would have liked to bring this over like here a little bit, but the original logo was like oddly far over. So I had to make the Russ gravel specific patch over here. Anyway, gravel specific jacket built. Built, I put a patch on it. <laughs> now I think the most appropriate course of action for testing the specific gravel capabilities of my newly crested gravel specific Spindak collaboration one of one is to test the specific gravel capabilities on gravel riding my first edition gravel bike equipped with Panaracer Gravel King gravel tires. This gravel's wet. Say gravel one more time. So far, so good. For the amount of work I have to put in to propel forward, I'm like too hot. A winter jacket is too hot for this weather. But you know, hard to complain. I'm used to being like frigid cold while riding in this time of year. It's nice to be a little warm for once. And you know what? Despite its gravel specific name plating, it doesn't feel particularly foreign on the road either. More than just cycling stuff. Almost. Works great as a skate jacket. My trucks are loose. I don't know why. You know, it's actually pretty good in the uh, just a jacket category. Overall, the modifications I made, 10 out of 10, would recommend, absolutely. Gravel specific, Spindak collab, best decision I ever made. Nice. It's always an extra challenge to get around those with that skateboard on your back. So right here, these two steps are my reminder of how much I actually love riding this bike. Just hopping up these two steps. It's so fun. If there's any one skill I feel you should learn how to do, if you don't already know how, it's hopping up and over things. It'll take like the most mundane of rides and make it way more fun. Up until, up until today, I've been very, very afraid of just like rolling, dropping into this. Today I did it. This is wet right now, so you can't really use it. I should have brought a towel, I didn't. So, playing on this, turned up over there, utilizing the small stuff that I can. Axle stall here, drop in there, hopefully end up out of there. I'm just kind of like NASCARing this entire thing, turning left the whole time. NASCAR sponsorship. Might be all in the jacket. It's time to go. Okay, come on, up. come on. The verdict is in. The gravel specific Spindat collaboration jacket, definite success. Will wear again. I know I said that the history of the Vigorelli was going to get posted on Thursday, but uh, like I, I meant like Thursday, like it's gonna be a Thursday, not like any particular Thursday. Sorry for the confusion.